All right, so uh, hi everyone. Welcome to Pakistan Reunion 2023. So, so excited, uh, we are so excited, and uh, it's one of the fantastic conference. I think some lunch is going on, and everyone having lunch all there. But I think virtually we can cover some of the topics. One of the great topics uh, that what we would love to cover today. And once again, thanks to all the sponsors, uh, PDF Butler and Wood Two, and again our favorite trial visitor community. I'll introduce myself, myself from India, and I'm based in Singapore. Uh, I'm a CTO and founder of Valley Hub, and I'm a Salesforce MVP and a two-time Salesforce marketing champion. And today I'd love to talk about Salesforce data cloud capabilities, which is a combination of CRM plus data plus CI plus trust. So there are four key factors in order to build this innovative solutions. Today I would love to go through all these facilities, capabilities, and that probably you're going to learn something great for sure. So we'll start with uh, what is our data cloud. Uh, we'll start with the introduction to Salesforce data cloud, which is AI plus data plus CRM plus trust. And then we can start how data cloud can be used in marketers, how data cloud can be leveraged for marketers, Salesforce data cloud for marketers, Salesforce data cloud for W, and Salesforce data cloud for external applications. You could just bring a lot of applications. You could connect a lot of applications, especially using bring your own device, bring your own model. and Finally, our favorite data cloud in core, and then we can talk about a couple of use cases and any questions and answer. Please feel free to message in Q&A, and then I'm happy to answer those questions as well. So let's start the introduction of uh, data cloud. Um, I'm sure that you know uh, data is the most vital part of our daily life and our business lives and everywhere. Always like you know, in the trailblazer ecosystem, so I always have a communication and conversations to a lot of trailblazers on a day-to-day -day basis. So the biggest question every trailblazer or every employee is asking me, uh, hey, funny, is there any tools that I could leverage to unify my data that saves me a lot of time? Because 67% of tech-free resources have been tied up with working in a lot of applications, and then they are, they're looking for a mode on unification applications. And at the same thing, a lot of companies are asking me, funny, is there any way that we could you know, uh, use our AI capabilities and which we can reduce or reports and cost reduction for manpower or, or across their entire organization via artificial intelligence. And there are 77% for organizations of saving two or more hours a week through automation. And always there is a belief that, you know, through automation process, which you could increase the productivity and, and you know, bring some value additions to the organization as well as from every application standpoint. So with all this, we know Currently, we are in a, in a phase of moving into our data more than ever, because if you look at the current ecosystem, so uh, we are evaluating almost like 100 gigabytes of data to be sits in the cloud by 2025. I'm sure, you know, so data is, why we're calling data is, uh, you know, pivot role in terms of our day-to-day -day lives, right? So we always feel that data integration is so complex and vital, vital because as an enterprise companies, as the big MNCs and all the companies where they're spending 36% of time to, you know, designing, building, and, you know, taking, testing their custom solutions. From where they get the data, because the data itself, you know, where you're traveling somewhere or you're eating some food or you're, you know, uh, going for shopping. So it's all a data because you're doing every transaction. That's a part of your one, one transaction record. And you're sharing a customer profile data and you're doing a lot of loyalty management. So loyalty management activities. You're, you're going for shopping, you're getting your loyal customers. So there's plenty of volumes of data which has been sitting in everywhere in different systems. The systems have been siloed all across because there are systems which is SAP, Oracle, and even using Marketing Cloud, or using different sales service, CRM systems, loyalty cloud systems. And even we're using some SAP on-prem systems, on-prem systems, and you know uh, even some people using SAP on-cloud, right? So these are all plenty of systems have been you know inside our tech, Tech savvy, and then uh, there are different complexities, especially like you know, so integration time. So you want to integrate all the systems. Uh, it took a lot of time for you to integrate. At the same time, so in order to manage the cost of each and every application, you have to pull some five to six resources for every application, and then you have to maintain your cost. Most important, the security and compliance for each and every application. So security and compliance, you have a team to review the security compliance vulnerabilities on every application that going into the live systems. So it's all a big uh, system of application to manage. You need hundreds of resources to be to be developed, hundreds of resources to be support and maintain that application. So it's all like you require hundreds of technical expertise to build and working on the single applications. But the biggest thing is where I, I'm a person in order to collect all the data and then build my unified record. 
in order to make all those things so companies always figuring out you know so what are all my personalized experiences to take it to all my customers what is what is the best way to bring my customer experience with different applications whether it is integrations or connecting with different apps or scalability or extensibility perspective even the companies have been almost like a lot of enterprise companies nowadays of so the average company has been spending almost 976 different applications in a one single company so they're using almost 976 applications to manage their entire you know ecosystem of an id at the same time the customer experience is more you know play a huge crucial role in terms of the 62 percent of customers experts their companies to anticipate their needs which is something they really wanted to bring something a powerful system right so in order to bring all the powerful systems so we're introducing a, a, a one of the innovative platform in salesforce which is our very own salesforce data cloud it's it's fantastic solution so it's, it can bring connect and harmonize all your data in a single 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 place and then you can anticipate customer needs and preferences with different unified profiles. And of course, you could activate your customer's data across your customer 360. So on an average, because now Data Cloud has been using by a lot of enterprise companies, they're testing the solutions, they're building POCs. What I heard from, because as a person, I'm working on a different Data Cloud solutions and applications. I've been uh, you know, bringing data from a lot of different systems, almost like 60 million, 100 million records. At least I'm saving some time for my company in order to define some good customer use cases to bring the unified data that's saving not only for the personalized experience for the marketers along with it helped me for a, and a developer perspective it helped me to you know connect all the seamless connections and then no need to work on a development site no need to work on too many people work on one single application to bring down the data it's all like one person can manage everything into data cloud you always believe that, right? So uh, where we are currently stands and where we are currently, you know, uh, exits from the long term Salesforce platform. So the platform is evolving day by day. We started with our internet with smartphones and after that we'll start with smart devices. And then now we are explosion of data everywhere, right? So we started force.com platform is our platform, which we build and lot, write a lot of code. And still we do have the same platform, which you could still write the code <clears throat> and on top, we introduced a flow for business automation processes and then we applied our Einstein capabilities to bring the lot of generative AI using large language models. And then now data cloud to bring all together. So the data cloud serves the purpose of your platform plus your automations plus your Einstein. So to bring all three, the data cloud is a powerful platform that brings a lot of innovations for every customer need to personalize every customer experience. Let's talk about where we are currently set. In our Salesforce, you already know, like, you know, we are working on a different applications and the different products like sales service, platform, marketing, commerce, MuleSoft, whatnot. I mean, we're working on Slack, or one of the digital portfolio. So all this has been, you know, currently has been sitting in, uh, although of course the hyperforce is coming, uh, which is like, if you look at list in uh, top to bottom or bottom to top, if you look at one is the one, the hyperforce, which is our one of the modern hybrid platform, which is currently available for some certain countries, but this is going to be, you know, a game changer for everyone because now with the hybrid force, we can reduce a lot of complaints and you know uh, local regulation policies where every customer can reach out to their own internal country and then they could be able to talk to hyper force and all your data sits in your own country. That's where our, our primary goal for the next two, three years, all those countries, hyper force is the main cloud, which can support your local complaints policies on top of. Once you store all your data in your hyper force platform on top of, we have a transactional database, which is our accounts, contact opportunities, and whatnot. And after that, we apply Einstein artificial intelligence for designing our predictions to look at our uh, the prediction mechanisms. You could look at our Einstein rates and everything. And after that, we could still apply our automations. But the biggest question with this data cloud sets besides this entire uh, system of this is our native, native platform of Salesforce. This is our current data building blocks of our Salesforce platform. This is a platform. The biggest thing is data cloud is built on platform yes the data cloud is built on platform and it's it exactly besides our platform features you look at hyperforce and after that the data cloud comes into the picture which is like communicating with transnational database and then on top you can apply you can use data cloud data model in einstein ai you could use data cloud data model in flow which is called athletics that's what it has a big complementary it has a big complementary to work in every native cloud of salesforce to make, make, to build a great solution for every customer, which includes sales guys, service guys, and the marketing guys, right? That's kind of a powerful. So but the biggest question, like how data cloud typically works, 
the data cloud brings all your source data, which is nothing but your first party data, third party data, and you could bring your offline data, online data, APIs, SDKs, MuleSoft, and you could connect your own SFTP, and then you can connect your MuleSoft applications, and you could connect your Snowflake and your AWS HMaker. So you could bring all this data, and then you can connect using different batch and data transformations. There are a lot of APIs available, which you could do ingestion API, and you could use some batch and streaming operations. And then you could scale up the data, and then you could be able to harmonize. You could just design your data models using you know, DML. You can use your data lake objects, data model objects, and then you could design your data models, and then you could design your single source of truth record. I would love to showcase some demo in my org so that you'll understand how the entire system of data and how the data cloud works. It's magic. And then how it produces your unified data. You using that data, a lot of people. Now, until unification, the data cloud does all your job. After that, we could send the data the unification data back to your analytics system called Tableau. You could send this data back to CRM analytics. And even you could use this data in your flows. You can use this data in your APIs and everywhere. And you could use this data to send to different AWS systems, B2C Commerce Cloud, AWS S3 location. You could just design some fantastic data, which that's what I've said. Data cloud is like extensible. It's purely an extensible, which you could bring plenty fantastic data altogether. Yeah. So, but the real truth is like, you know, so how it works as magic is like, you know, it's a design your single view for every customer with real time data. It's just building and maintaining your all custom integration. That solves your pain point for managing hundreds and nine, nine hundreds of applications into one single application to design your purpose of designing your data process. Data is very crucial, as I said. So without this, you can't be able to you know, generate your revenue or anything else. At the same thing, this will increase your complete revenue of interest with real time zero copy data policies using Salesforce and Snowflake, one of the best innovative that what I've seen so far in the current ecosystem or the current generation. So now a data cloud is a system that connect to any other Snowflake or even Databricks. You could connect all the system with zero copy data, which is nothing but zero ETL policies. You could just connect and then send the data and then talk each other. That's that's magnificent the data cloud is. You bring the data from millions of records, millions of records from different systems, and then you could just design your unified customer profile data, post your formalizations in a single day. You can see here, there are, in a single day, they are bringing a lot of almost like 11.6 billions of records of data, which you are turning to 4.1 billions of records of data. That's powerful, the data cloud is. Of course, in order to play all this data, so you need to manage some certain you know, limitations and everything, especially the limitations in sense especially on the data transformations, because when you connect any of your third party systems like AWS S3 or, or, <clears throat> or sales cloud, service cloud or marketing cloud. So, you know, it takes at least an hourly data because the data took at least an hour to bring the data first time. I'm saying it's the first time. We'll take at least an hour, minimum of an hour to bring the data from your source systems to data cloud. And after that, the incremental data will be flowing into it's very fast. So that's what my observation, especially on working with data cloud. And in terms of troubleshooting and everything, so we have different solutions, troubleshooting material available where you could go on and grab it and understand how we could see the data, how we could play the data, everything you can do it inside data cloud, right? And I'd love to showcase some screens, especially on data cloud, how it look like. This is one of the website of our NDO. So we are, you know, so NDO, you already know, like a lot of uh, our trail bases are working on this NDO website for commerce cloud, marketing cloud, personalization platforms, even intelligence and all. So it's a platform where you know uh, people can go and it's kind of a retail platform where you can go and then purchase your uh, you know you can find the store and then you can be able to purchase your activity trackers you can be able to purchase your shoes you can be able to purchase your uh, you know uh, nutrition products and everything so a person a customer can landing into here and then the system what we can do is data cloud supports to integrate your websites mobile apps using sdk you could just inject here one of an sdk sdk plugin where the data will flow into your data cloud platform like this and then you can see the different data streams you have different segmentations activations where you could see data from different sources of attacks and then uh, you could see the data streams the data streams are nothing but where you can connect your data to your systems and then bring the data into data cloud and then you have a data model where you can go and then design your data models and then you can design the data explorer will help you out for making your data how that data will look like and everything <clears throat> But I'll just showcase how the platform looks like, especially on data cloud side. So, so 
So it's all secure, as you're already aware of it. So you have to turn on your MFA for long-term release. It's been last year ago. Everyone has to move to MFA uh, deliberately. And this is our data cloud platform. And is here, the data cloud, the uh, uh, Muscat is going to be treated. You could see here, so this is my own platform where you could see the data cloud and you could see the data streams where you could be able to connect. It's all point and click I'm showing. You know, it's not, um, it's just a point and click. You don't need any developer to build all this thing. It is just very simple. You can just click on new and then you could be able to uh, be able to connect your source systems. You can see marketing cloud, Salesforce, CRM, ingestion API, interaction studio, Amazon S3. You can design your own because sometimes your team is working on different enterprise systems and then you have a team sitting in somewhere working in EMEA data cloud org where they build some great assets where you could use this install data kits and package kind of a module to ingest their data, ingest their components directly to data cloud. It's as simple as that. You don't require any change set or this kind of thing needs to be done. Of course, the change set supports from some sort of components, but this is very simple, it's like managed package. And you can see you can see multiple systems you could be able to connect as well. They're just a simple where you can just click on it and then try to choose your Salesforce ox because you could connect maximum of five Salesforce ox in a single uh, data cloud org. And you could see there, you can uh, connect my org, and then you could see some of the bundles. The bundles are designed by Salesforce uh, product team. So you could use these bundles like map exchange package. You could use these bundles to you know deploy your all data stream. Once you deploy it, automatically a data stream will be created. Automatically a data streams will be created like this. You can see one of the CRM I integrated. I use ingestion API, I use AWS S3, I use Salesforce Interaction Studio. And if you look at this one of this. Uh, CRM system that what you have been ingested from Salesforce. So here, all the source data you've been ingested, the fields and everything will, you know, showing here, what are all the fields that you have been selected from ingestion. And from here, you have an option to go and then uh, do a data model. Data Cloud has a fantastic data model that covers your consent management, your your uh, loyalty management, your, it contains all the industry data model they've already been designed for you. You don't need to create much data, data objects or data fields inside your object. It's already created, but it has a flexibility to create your custom objects, custom fields inside your data cloud, like Salesforce. You can see the mapping is very similar. Is it just a point and click kind of a thing? So once you map all this thing, kind of a, all this mapping, so the final model will be designed inside your data model. Once your model has been ready, you could just design your identity resolutions, I think, but this is a crucial part of data cloud. This is where all your rules has been defined because you have 11 billion records have been coming into it, but you want to filter those records, right? Because you see here, my 12K records have been filtered with 5.68K records using my fuzzy rules, my fuzzy rules. And then I build some reconciliation rules as well. What kind of reconciliation I need to manage everything. And then this identity resolution took some time for you to run your rules and then bring the right data because this entire system of architecture designed in AWS platform. So it took some time to go this data to AWS system, which is our Elastic Beanstacks. And then it will generate the data that will be pushing into our uh, unified data here. But the biggest question where I can see the data, what how many records have been injected, how many records have been failed, and all. So you can see under your data explorer. So here, at the same time, you have a DB Weaver is one more package. You could install your DB Weaver to troubleshoot your data. What records have been successfully transacted, what records have been successfully failed, you can use it. For viewer, so you could see your uh, object, and then you could be able to filter the respective data of data lake object, your data model, calculated insights and everything. So this is how you can see your data cloud arc. And at the same time, you have a data actions, which you could send your data to different third party systems. And you have your segmentation where you could segmentize the audiences and then send to marketing cloud and other systems. And data action targets where you could use some, you know, these targets have been, you know, connecting to different, you could create the, you know, target and then you could be able to design your calculated insights complete query builder and everything. And then you could be able to send these all insights back to different systems as well. And you could use this data action target to send your native cloud as well through your flow using a Flanatex. You could just use your, you could just use your uh, PubSub APIs to build or use your event streams to connect. And then that will be flow the data to, you know, data cloud your native Salesforce Ox as well. So that's how this entire uh, system of data cloud look like. But with the short time, we have to cover a couple of slides, especially on especially on a couple of other. So this is how the screens of, this is the data streams, and this is how the data stream look like, and your data modeling, and your data model objects look like in data cloud, and your match rules, reconciliation rules. So that's how the platform look like from a data cloud perspective. 
But what data cloud help you for the marketers? For the marketers, you always believe that, you know, before data cloud, marketing cloud is something where a lot of people using marketing cloud for ingesting their own data, duplicate data, which is increasing your subscriber count, and you're spending, for spending $2, you're spending $6, right? Which is like, you see some of the duplicate data, some of the, you know, messy data, fuzzy data sits in marketing cloud. By using this, you could be able to eliminate all those things. You could be able to design your perfect audience data inside your data cloud, and then you could be able to send this audience data, do segmentations inside data cloud, and then send back to your marketing cloud with the real-time activations. That brings you a lot of personalization for every customer to bring a lot of great insights, real-time data and insights, especially on the marketing cloud from data cloud. You know the Formula One is one of the biggest fan base, C360. So Formula One is using data cloud is for a hefty kind of a thing. If you look at how the Formula One data cloud look like, so they designed the data cloud, using data cloud heavily, especially the McLaren. And you see that data streams have been connected to multiple systems, the segments, the activations, transformations, actions, and all the stuff. Fantastic. Fantastic. They're using heavily on this data cloud, and a lot of enterprise customers have been started using it. So please go and try and do it something great today, and then learn something on data cloud for today. Do you believe our entire Einstein GPD has been sits on data cloud? Our entire Einstein GPD sits on data cloud. It's because it's all the Einstein, uh, you, the Einstein, you see our, our trial based DX or you know, Dreamforce, you see all our, our complete Einstein one platform, which sits on data cloud. That gives a fantastic experience from a customer 360 perspective. And data cloud for Tableau. So if you already know data cloud, how it can help you out for, you know, because once you design your identification, plenty of billions of records, the data in a single click, the data will go to Tableau, and then you can design a lot of analytics in Tableau. It's a perfect native connector available to connect data cloud to Tableau, which unify your customer data to design your predictions, to design your AI powered insights into the complete Tableau. And if you look at this is one of the uh, Tableau screens where you could see the data cloud will automatically flow into Tableau and then you can design some analytics as well. So that's how the entire system of design has been designed for everyone. It brings you a lot of insights for measuring your forecasting analysis, measuring your campaign analysis, measuring your sales orders, your retail analysis, and everything. But what else we have? Of course, we have something great, especially on the external applications, zero copy data policies, which is bring your own device, bring your own data lake. So data lake is, the data cloud is open and extensible. So you could send your data model, once you design your data model, you want someone who sits in Snowflake where they want to access your data model and build some access the data model with data of data cloud and then want to use some analytics for their own internal purpose. Open access data policies. Using Snowflake connector, you can connect to your Snowflake using your data spaces. And then you can bring the data from your data cloud to Snowflake, Snowflake data cloud. At the same time, you could design your AWS predictions, just SageMaker, and you could just design your complete SageMaker predictions inside your AWS platform, and you can build the model inside AWS and then deploy the model inside Data Cloud to bring the AI insights and then use those insights for your complete segmentations and that can be flowed down to your marketing cloud as well. That's a fantastic product. There are other partners working on different analytics. So soon you can see great analytics of great applications have been posting in Exchange, and then the Data Cloud team can use it as well. So this is how you know the AWS SageMaker completely works. So this is AWS SageMaker access. So you have a data cloud connector here. So here, you know, you could just click on your in data cloud, you can just click on data share and you could just share your data to AWS. I'm sharing my data to AWS. And here I'm importing data from data cloud to AWS using Salesforce data cloud connector in AWS SageMaker. I importing my data. Once I import my data, I register my model inside AWS and I'm Registering the model coming from AWS to Data Cloud now. I registered the model and then I could be able to use this model inside my Data Cloud to build some more analytics. I could segmentize this data and I could be able to activate this data to my downstream system for the post layer experience as well. And apart from so we can use zero copy data policies for this is our you know one of the snowflake zero copy data access. You could access data from data cloud and you could pull the data from data cloud to you know snowflake from snowflake to data cloud as well. This is our one of the fantastic Databricks platforms, or even Databricks. You can use some Python connectors to bring the data from different uh, data model objects into your uh, Databricks as well. So the system has been connecting with multiple external applications, which is zero copy data policy. And you don't require APIs, nothing, zero. It's just a connector, which you can bring it, and then done. That's it.
And from a core perspective, of course, if you go to your core module like flows and you have an access to, you know, access your AWS SageMaker protection models, you could access your data models, you could access your, uh, you could access your uh, calculated insights, you could access your segmentations, everything can be accessed inside flows. That's fantastic because some of the sales team wants to use unified data to bring some more, you know, a sales traction to their customers. So you can use these flows to build, bring data from data cloud, and then you could build some use cases in sales cloud, and then you could build some lightning web component and then showcase some data to your salespeople and service teams and your loyalty teams as well. That's powerful. So there are some use cases, especially on, uh, you know, marketers can use their, some of the data cloud core use cases, especially on the, you know, telemetry data, professional, you know, real-time dynamics data, or, you know, some customers, especially on the banking side where they could use this data for fraud detection prevention by flagging suspicious transactions based on unusual patterns, like fraud withdrawals, transfers to foreign countries. So you would just, you would just put those, some of the use cases inside your data cloud as well. And then for the manufacturing companies, you could use this data for, you know, optimizing your production process, which you can, you know, monitor the entire mission performance with real time. That makes a lot of significant value as well. So that's a, that, that's a kind of powerful with the data cloud. And again, if you believe or not, our entire trail-based ecosystem built on data cloud. The entire trail-based ID, trail-based system is, sits in data cloud. And this is what currently has been sits. We have 177 million to 80 million unified customer profile post normalization, especially our trail-based systems. And as a person, when I'm accessing this, have you heard about when you're first time accessing Salesforce Plus and then watching some video, when you go to the next time, it will define your personalizations. Watch the relevant videos that what it's been coming in. That's been coming through your data cloud. That's powerful. That's what, as a Salesforce Plus, we do plan, we do test the applications in our own platforms and then we could go live with the customers. So that's right. We are already done something great with our trial head system. And then we've gone live with our customers on the same application. At the same time, Data Cloud can personalize your experience using Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, and then you know you can use your Marketing Cloud and all the stuff. And Data Cloud is everywhere, and uh, people using for different enterprise companies started using it for their uh, deliveries, personalizing product recommendations, customer engagement, loyalty program, and streamline communication. So different customers using different products to bring their data and then design their fantastic unified customer interactions and then provide their personalized experience to every customer. And there are coming currently the data cloud sits in the current direction, data cloud for core, data cloud for Tableau, data cloud for external application, data cloud for data transformations, and all is are generally available. You can go on the try it out. So this is some of the resources that I would love to give away. So this contains a bootcamp that we conducted uh, last couple of months back where it contains all the data cloud sessions. I would like go and then check it out. And then if it really helpful, I'm sure that it could just being another data cloud consultant and it could help your companies to bring a good customer experience for bringing data from all the throughout the throughout the source party systems. Once again, thank you. I really appreciate your time for everyone to joining on the session. And I would really thank to all the Pakistan Riemann team. You guys are fantastic because I'm looking for the last three years. Every year, this is a fantastic increment. And I really thank each and every person who put all their great effort to make this event success. And I really appreciate all the sponsors who helping us on this event. Thank you once again, signing off. Thank you.